Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.dev and I just found out about a really cool tool that I'm really excited about. I love writing Markdown. I find Markdown a much easier way to create documents, whether I'm writing blogs or documentation or whatnot. So anytime I find new ways I can use Markdown to do even more stuff, whether it's like Mermaid, where I can make charts in Markdown, or MDX, where you can use kind of React components in Markdown, and now MARP. Okay, Markdown presentations, okay? Um, this is really cool. Like if you, if you've used PowerPoint or Google presentations, um, you know, it can be time consuming to be pointing and clicking, especially for like just really simple stuff. And, you know, you're limited to what the UI allows you to sort of create. Now here you get the power of Markdown, you know, being able to use like HTML, CSS, uh, even potentially JavaScript in designing what you see visually, but being able to do it in like a presentation. Okay. Which then can be rendered to an HTML document can be rendered to a PDF or even a PowerPoint presentation. That's really cool. So I just figured out, I haven't really played too much with it yet, but let's, let's do something. Okay. So let's just show you kind of how this works. So basically what you would do is first you'd have to install the extension. So it's just an extension you would install in VS code. So you just look up MARP and you can just install it pretty easily. Then what you would do is you would just create a document. So I'm going to create a new document. So we'll just call this like a, you know, uh, hello world dot MD. And then basically what allows it to be a MARP document is that you would put in some front matter. So if you've used doc, if you've used frameworks like Gatsby and other frameworks that use markdown a lot, you know, that front matter is like some YAML you can put sort of right at the top of your markdown files. So in this case, you would do one key, which would just be MARP. And then I think let's just set the true. And now you are good to do, you're good to go. It is going to be treated as MARP by the MARP engine. Now, I haven't quite gotten the like the preview to work right yet, so I can see it previewed as um, a presentation document. Like basically what happens is it adds this button here, so that way you can kind of like use the MARP features. But I have like the GitHub markdown preview extension installed, so it's always kind of showing me the, the GitHub preview. But watch, we'll just say, hey, this is gonna be slide one. Okay. Um, and then, you know, I'll have a code block. So we'll say JS, you know, we'll do, you know, uh, const hello equals hello world. Now let's say I want to do a new slide. All I would do is I would just do a horizontal line. So see that horizontal line is actually what creates the splits in the slide. So then this would become slide two. And then, you know, I could just do some uh, lorem ipsum. So I'll just do some lorem blah, 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 blah. You know, we'll just do some text, you know, then maybe I want to do an image. So just be like, and the cool thing about images, you can actually specify like where you would put the alt text. You can actually specify like the width of the image. So I can be like, Oh, I want this to be, you know, 100 by actually, I think it's more like 100 with height. 100 okay and then we'd specify like the location of the picture i'll go grab a picture from the internet we'll just grab the mark mark logo can i do that eh, okay let's go to the images okay puppies okay we'll grab some random puppy picture let's actually grab something a little bit more square since i made it 100 by 100 copy the image address and let's go bring that into here okay and right now you're just seeing the full size picture because again this is like a marp thing so this is like sort of a ex, uh, a marp specific extension to markdown okay but once i have this all done all i have to do is click over here and i can click export slide deck okay and i can save it as a pdf or as an html slide deck or as a powerpoint document PNP, uh, PNG or JPG images. I have all these options. So first let's do the PDF slide deck. So let's export. Okay. And we'll see that pop up over here in a second. There it is. And then you see, like, you see there's slide one and then there's slide two and there's like the little picture. Um, and there's other things you can specify. Like if you want to like flush it, right, flush it left, but you see, it's like, there's a perfectly one, one image each. Okay. Now let's see what happens if I were to make it a HTML document. So we'll say HTML slide deck. Okay. Cancel. Let's actually, this would be what should probably be called a, dot HTML. 
Okay, and you see we have that, and it actually even gives you like this nice little slide usage here. So I can click and do slides, and hey, can I do full screen? Oh, nice. That is sweet. And the cool thing is that it's HTML, so then you can use CSS animations and all that fun stuff. Okay, that's really neat. Okay, so this just gives you sort of a, like a new way you can do sort of presentations. And the cool thing is that there's a built-in, there's some built-in themes. You can do a custom theme, but there's one theme that's built in called Gaia. So now if I do that, and then again, I export, and then let's export it this time as a, okay. Also, oh, it only does like the first slide as a PNG according to this. Um, I'll do it as HTML again. I'll just call it hello world two dot HTML. Okay, and then you can see like that, like that looks a little bit nicer because it's using that Gaia theme. Okay, and you can create your own custom themes. You would actually just do that, uh, and you can just do that in line. Um, also, you take advantage of some other, you can do it in your YAML, um, or in, even in, there's actually all sorts of directives you can specify in comment if you want things like to paginate. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do. Like I think I can go over here and actually if I just do paginate right here from the get-go, I think this will paginate. Okay, let's actually take a look at what that HTML output. So if I go here the hello world.html, okay, you can see that here's all, all the HTML and CSS. Everything's kind of baked into this one large document. Okay, pretty neat. Um, but okay, let's show you that pagination. There's a bunch of different things you can choose, but let's try that out. Okay, so let's do this again. Uh, I'm gonna do this as a PDF again. We'll just say hello world2.pdf. Oh, I see that last HTML got turned to a PDF. That's fine. Replace it. Okay, and you see now you see the little numbers here at the bottom. It's it's now paginated if you wanted like sort of page numbers. So this all it's pretty neat. Um, I am pretty excited about this. I like writing Markdown. Um, this also just increases sort of like all sorts of avenues for productivity for creating a, a, a slide deck. Um, so yeah. Because like for one example, you could actually use it with ChatGPT. I could copy the documentation for Mark, which is like one page long into a ChatGPT prompt and have it help me sort of generate a bunch of slides versus, you know, because you can't really do that with PowerPoint, right? You can't really like have it do mouse clicks, but you can have it write Markdown, okay? ChatGPT is actually really good at writing Markdown. So um, that open up, opens up some possibilities of really being able to easily like uh, create at least the boilerplate for for a presentation. Um, so uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this and find this interesting. I'm pretty excited about this project. Uh, see y'all later.